Highlighting the history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's inner west. Manly is situated on narrow neck of land separating the Pacific Ocean from Port Jackson's North Harbour. For thousands of years, Aboriginal people roamed the area. Recorded Aboriginal sites include middens, rock carvings and cave art. In January 1788, Arthur Phillip wrote, In passing near a point of land saw a number of men. Their confidence and manly behaviour made me give the name Manly to this place. Revisiting the area two years later, Philip was speared by an Aborigine. A monument at Manly Cove commemorates these events. In 1810, land grants were made to ex-convicts Gilbert Baker and Richard Cheers. Cheers had become a successful butcher in the city. Baker worked for him as a clerk. On both grants, Cheers fattened cattle for his business. This land was purchased by Robert Campbell Jr. in 1814. He sold it to Darcy Wentworth, who was granted another 380 acres. Surveyor General Thomas Mitchell drew a plan for a village-type settlement at North Harbour in 1828. The area was accessible by boat or land via Parramatta. In the 1830s, day excursions to Manly Beach and North Harbour were advertised. A quarantine station was opened at North Head in 1832 for people arriving in Sydney with contagious diseases. It operated until 1984, the oldest and most intact example of quarantine facilities in Australia are today an hotel, conference centre and restaurant complex known as Q Station. In 1853, Henry Gilbert Smith acquired two parcels of land which had previously been granted to John Thompson and John Parker. Writing to his family, he described it as seven or eight miles from Sydney by water, as fine a thing as you can imagine. It takes in the only ground which has the sea beach on one side and a fine sandy cove on the other. By the end of 1855, Smith had built the first Manly Wharf, erecting the Pier Hotel and initiated a ferry service to bring day trippers to his resort. The hotel became the Grand Pier Hotel. The building was demolished to make way for the Hotel Manly. A seven-storey addition to this building included a statue of Governor Arthur Phillip set in an exterior niche. The hotel closed in 1989 and was demolished. The Grand Asplanade Residential Building opened on the site and incorporated the sculpture in the southwestern corner. Smith acquired more land and planned a village named Ellensville after his first wife, but later changed it to Brighton. The name Manly was officially adopted when the council was incorporated in 1877. A sandy track leading from the wharf on the harbour side to the beachfront was named the Corso after the Grand Via del Corso in Rome. In 1877 a roadway was constructed and planted with trees to form a promenade. Today the Corso is the principal shopping area. Smith built Fairlight, which was completed in 1860. His first wife came from Fairlight, a village near Hastings on England's south coast. The house was demolished in 1939. To attract visitors, Smith financed a camera obscura on Constitution Hill. Camera and tower streets commemorate the structure. W.B. Daly built on a nearby site in 1881. His house, Marianella, was commonly known as Daly's Castle. In 1932, the Reverend C. H. Palmer purchased it and opened the Camden Grammar School. Seven years later, it was demolished. A high sandstone wall surmounted by two gargoyles is all that remains. Flats, also named Marianella, were built on the site in 1950. Smith's 1850s stone kangaroo still overlooks Manly Beach. Smith constructed bars on the western side of Manly Cove. Brighton Maze, a copy of the Hampton Court Maze in London, opened in 1859. Fairy Bower became a popular picnic entertainment and refreshment area. 
Smith built the Steyn Hotel in 1859. It has been rebuilt and renovated over the years. The present hotel was built in 1935. Two new baths were constructed at either side of Manly Cove in 1878 to replace Smith's dilapidated facilities. One for women on the western end of the Esplanade and one for men on the southeast corner. Another maze opened in 1899. During the late 19th and early 20th century, Manly was one of Australia's most popular seaside holiday resorts. Newspaper described it as the watering place of the nation and the Brighton of the South, a place for recuperation and relaxation. A Sydney Police Act which forbade bathing between the hours of 6 o'clock in the morning and 8 in the evening was implemented in Manly in 1880. The council rescinded this by law in 1903. Bathing in daylight hours was permitted. Neck to knee swimwear was to be worn for anyone over eight years of age. In 1926, Manly Baths opened on the site of the former gentlemen's baths. The ladies' baths became Manly Harbour Pool. A board walk from Manly Wharf to the western end of Manly Cove was opened in 1931. A dressing pavilion and refreshment rooms were built. A small charge was made for the use of the lockers, showers and toilets, but admission to the pool was free. In 1974, a storm destroyed the bars and harbour pool. In December 1903, a water chute and toboggan opened on the corner of Ashburner Street and South Stain Road. The water chute was 15 metres high. At the top of the tower, a boat was released to slide into an artificial lake. There was also a toboggan ride, shooting gallery, bijou theatre and a miniature railway named the Fiery Dragon. A train described as a perfect miniature railway running on the ocean beach, the smallest real railroad in the world operated along the seafront at the northern end of the ocean beach in North Stain Reserve. Eaton Summer Gardens opened in 1911 and operated as an open-air, under-canvas venue for stage acts and music. It was known as the Paris Gardens when Clay's Vaudeville Company performed there. When it was demolished in 1926, it was known as the Palais. The following year, Australia's biggest Ferris wheel was erected on the site, which was renamed Big Wheel Grounds. The giant Ferris wheel became a manly landmark. With the opening of a spit bridge in 1924, the cargo wharf adjacent to the passenger wharf became redundant. The Port Jackson and Manly Steamship Company leased the wharf and converted it into an amusement pier, which officially opened in December 1930. Although the pier's advertising slogan was, Built for Fun in 31. An aquarium was located next to the pier. More attractions were added, dancers, vaudeville shows, dodgem cars, amusement machines, ferris wheel, mini golf, merry-go-round and scooter boats. When Manly Wharf was rebuilt in 1941, alterations included replacing the facade and introducing new attractions which included a ghost train and a mirror maze. When the 1974 storm damaged the wharf and pier, repairs, upgrades and renovations were made. After demolition in the 1980s, a new complex opened with an amusement centre in the basement. The amusement centre closed when the wharf was redeveloped in 2000. The Port Jackson and Manly Steamship Company promoted Manly as seven miles from Sydney and a thousand miles from Care. Manly's first theatre, The Pavilion, opened in 1906 on the Ocean Beach Reserve. In 1909, Manly Flickers took place under the stars on an empty block beside the Stain Hotel. A tent was erected and stamped out sheets of tin were placed in front to resemble castle turrets, giving the venue its first name, West's Castle Theatre. The popularity of moving pictures led to a permanent theatre being built on the site. The Arcadia, also known as the Century and Silver Screen. After closing in 1980, the building became Blades Nightclub, then a pinball arcade before being demolished for the construction of apartments. 
Victoria Gardens, advertised as practically windproof, was an open-air under-canvas site on the southeastern side of Victoria Parade. In the early 1920s, it screened silent movies. The Britannia Cinema was built in 1915 in Sydney Road and renamed the Olympic in 1924. It became a live theatre and stage variety acts. Dobbs Brothers furniture stores, Waltons and an auction room occupied the building until it was demolished for a shopping arcade. The facade still stands at the entrance to Pacific Point Arcade. The Gallery Shopping Arcade was originally a location of merry-go-rounds operated by William Sovereign Smith. Magic City, a popular fun fair, operated on the site until it was redeveloped for the Rialto Pictures in 1923. It became the Odeon in 1949. Closing in the 1960s, the building was demolished and the shopping arcade built. The Embassy Theatre was erected in 1933 across from Manly Wharf. In 1960 it became the second Odeon, finally closing in 1984 and replaced by Manly Twin Cinemas, which operated until 2013. In 1951, Hoyts bought the 1935 Modern Theatre. It was renamed Manly Theatre and then the new Manly Theatre. In 1980, the building was sold and demolished. Tracon House now occupies the site. Manly's first aquarium opened in 1886. In 1963, Marine Land opened on West Esplanade. In 1989, it became Underwater World. Renovated and reopened in 1992, it was called Ocean World. In 2012, the attraction was relaunched as Manly Sea Life Sanctuary. It closed in 2018. The future of the site is undecided. Waterworks opened behind the Manly Pavilion in 1981. Today, Manly Surf and Slide. As visitors enjoyed leisure time pursuits, this suburb developed. Two pavilions from the Intercolonial Exhibition in Prince Alfred Park, a large dancing pavilion and an octagonal refreshment room, were erected in Ivanhoe Park. They were used for dances, picnics and church outings in the 1870s. The park was saved from subdivision and gazetted as a public reserve in 1887. Manly Oval in the 1890s was about one-third the size of the current oval. The Merritt Memorial Gateway was erected in memory of O.G.H. Merritt, manager of the Australian team attending the 1924 Paris Olympic Games. The first Ivanhoe Hotel was built in 1876 in Ivanhoe Park. After the hotel moved to the Corso, Manly Council held its meetings in the old hotel until 1909. The building was then converted for use as a courthouse until the opening of a new courthouse and police station in 1925. From 1909, the council met at Slangollen, the home of William Rolfe. The house was demolished to build a town hall. The Manly Gas Works were constructed at Little Manly Point in 1883 and operated until 1964. The New South Wales Government acquired the site the plant was demolished and the area is now used for passive recreation. The mansion Glanwy was built around 1883 by architect John Smedley. In 1920 the estate was subdivided into ten harbour front lots. A modern apartment building named Kilburn Towers was built on part of the former Glanwy estate. Manly Reservoir opened in 1892 to supply fresh water to the village of Manly. The dam was raised so that it could supply surrounding suburbs. Use as a water supply was phased out and after World War I, the area became a war memorial park and recreational area. Manly Cottage Hospital opened in 1896 on the corner of Raglan Street and Quinton Road. Twelve acres of land at North Head were granted for a new hospital which was built in 1927 and in use from 1931 when the nurses accommodation was completed. North Head has many sandstone walls. 
the first to separate the quarantine station from St. Patrick's Seminary, was built about 1901. This wall incorporated a stone quarantine arch. A second wall was built in the early 1930s to create Park Hill Recreational Reserve. The original arch was moved and incorporated into the new wall. The first Manly tram line opened in 1903. It ran from West Esplanade down the Corso along North Stain, turning into Pitwater Road at Carlton Street and continued to the terminus near Manly Lagoon. The steam-powered trams were replaced by horse-drawn ones when passenger numbers declined. Steam trams were reintroduced in 1907, followed by electric ones. Buildings were erected by religious denominations. The oldest existing ecclesiastical building in Manly is the Congregational Church built in 1862. The original 1865 St Matthew's Church on the Corso was demolished in 1928 for road widening. The church-owned Victoria Hall, built in 1901 to celebrate Queen Victoria's Jubilee, was also demolished. It had been Manly's only major public hall and principal public entertainment venue. In 1930, the present church opened on Victoria Hall site. The foundation stone of Mary Immaculate and St Athanasius Church was laid in 1891. St Andrew's Presbyterian Church opened in 1890. The 1901 Methodist Church was replaced in 1924. Today, the Manly Village Uniting Church. In 1912, the Salvation Army Barracks opened next door to the People's Palace. Manly had numerous educational establishments. Manly National, later public school, was established in 1858 in temporary accommodation at Smith's with Cottage on Constitution Hill. From 1859, there was a new national school on the corner of Pitchwater Road and Carlton Street. A school built on the current site opened at the beginning of 1883. A second story was added in 1911. In 1881, the Good Samaritan Sisters set up an industrial school at the Star of the Sea Convent for orphaned or neglected children. The sisters also conducted a school attached to St Mary's and St Athanasius Church. In 1930, a new convent and single-storey school were built and Stella Marist College opened the following year. Originally a primary school and a girls' high school, by 1944, Stella Marist was purely a high school for girls. The university school was next to the Methodist Church. It was a boys' boarding and day school. The curriculum included preparation for university and public service board examinations. Brighton College, one of New South Wales' first private schools for girls, operated from 1889 until 1960. In 1932, Manly Presbyterian Grammar School for Boys opened in Kira Hall. The building had previously been used as a bed and breakfast establishment and a home for babies run by the Church of England. Renamed St Andrew's School in 1934, it closed in 1939, becoming a house for underprivileged and delinquent children run by the Presbyterian Church. The home closed in 1962 and the site was redeveloped as a three-storey block of units. St Paul's College was originally a Christian Brothers School which opened next to the parish church in Raglan Street in 1929. It moved to grounds of the St Patrick's Estate in 1965. St Patrick's Estate, a large tract of the former quarantine station, was given to the Catholic Church in the late 1870s. St Patrick's College, the first seminary in Australia for training priests, opened in 1889. The seminary incorporated chapel and cardinal's palace. The main building now houses the International College of Management. The 1920s and 30s saw Manly's transition from village to dormitory suburb begin with the construction of flats. Some of the oldest blocks are in Ashburner Street. Dungowan Flats, built in 1919, offered their tenants a home with every modern convenience, electricity, telephones and an electric elevator. A commercial kitchen on the ground floor serviced a restaurant deluxe. 
The building has been renovated, substantially altered, with three extra stories added at the rear of the building. In 1925, Dungowan Limited converted the Paramount Picture Theatre next door to their flats into Cabaret Dungowan, where grand social occasions were celebrated. An ice skating rink was added at the end of the 1920s. The ice rink later became a car showroom now the site of a nine-story unit block. Another development in the 1920s was the construction of shops with flats above them along the main roads. The Far West scheme was established by the Reverend Stanley Drummond in 1924 for isolated country children to holiday by the sea. Today the organisation provides country children with accommodation and education while they receive medical treatment. The 1922 Outdoor Concert Pavilion became the Manly Art Gallery in 1930. The building was renovated in 1966 and a museum added in 1982. Manly, a place for leisure pursuits since the 1850s, continues to be a popular seaside locality. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Coming soon, ride the third oldest settlement in Australia, and check out our website, stpeterscooksriver.wordpress.com.